Devin Haney, I'm not interested in it. I'm gonna be honest because he don't excite me. He don't have a. You can't name one person he fought that's exciting uh, and that that raised the challenge. Uh, and he doesn't even do things exciting when he's supposed to be somebody. That's the part that really irritates me. Like you're supposed to knock these dudes or do something that makes people say, "Damn, Devin Haney's a bad motherfucker." You know what I mean? I don't see that. I'm sorry. No disrespect. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, rising, Mexican, lightweight, title contender, superstar boxer, King Rod, Ryan Garcia, when asked about fighting undefeated WBC, lightweight, world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, and the possibility of it possibly happening, seeing as though he fought Olympic gold medalist, British lightweight title contender, superstar boxer Luke Campbell for a mandatory position to fight Devin Haney for the WBC title and became his mandatory. Ryan Garcia, he responds, he'll never fight Devin Haney because he don't like the style matchup. He don't like Devin Haney's style. He don't like Devin Haney's approach to the sport of boxing. He don't like the fact that Devin Haney is boring. He don't like the fact that Devin Haney don't knock out the guys he's supposed to knock out. This is what King Ryan Garcia had to say. But this is the same guy after he beat Luke Campbell, floored badly. So you want Devin Haney to show flaws. You want him to get rocked and knocked down like you was floored in the second round against Luke Campbell. Now he did, to his credit, he did get up and defeat Luke Campbell in the seventh round and stop him. But you was floored in that round. And so here's the myth that Oh, Devin Haney's a boring fighter because he's skilled. This is this these are code words for I don't like how I match up against Devin Haney. This is somebody you fought in the amateurs at least four, five, six times, according to yourself and Devin Haney. And you split and you said that Devin Haney got the best of you the last one. And from the clips I was looking at when you were sparring Devin Haney, looks like Devin Haney was pretty exciting to me when he was landing a lot of punches in the pocket on Ryan Garcia. So Ryan Garcia, him stating that Devin Haney is a boring style, is code word for, I don't know how I match up against that style. You know that Devin Haney has gotten better since you fought him in the amateurs. Uh, now, I have a question. Everybody always said that Floyd Mayweather was boring. Example. But everybody wanted to fight Floyd Mayweather because of what he brought to the table. If he's boring, then you should be able to easily go in there and knock him out. But this is the same Ryan Garcia that after the Luke Campbell fight, he went up to Devin Haney in the crowd and says, if I don't get the fight with Javante Tank Davis, then you're next. You didn't know his style before that fight, after that fight, during that fight, when you was fighting for the WBC mandatory position? It's simply because you don't like how your style, being flat-footed, Matches up with somebody that's athletic and mobile and quick-footed. That's that code word for that. So to say, I don't like how he... Okay, so everybody don't get knockouts. There's a handful of guys that go in there and get a bunch of knockouts. Handful. Majority, 90% of the boxers in the sport of boxing are not knockout artists. You have a handful, and that's why they're so exciting, because they're essentially an anomaly. You have two guys in the sport of boxing currently right now, or I could even say three, that are very, very exciting guys because they get knockouts. That being number one, Deontay Wilder, with the 97% knockout ratio, highest ratio in the history of sport of boxing. That being Javante Tank Davis, who's knocked out all his opponents except for one, 23 knockouts in 24 fights. And then Anthony Joshua, right? Uh, and ironically, or should I say non-ironically, both the two of the three are heavyweights because we know uh, once you get over that 200 pound mark, it's, it spells trouble. Okay. So Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, Javante Tank Davis are the two guys, are the three guys that are the most exciting in the sport of boxing. You'll be hard pressed to give me seven guys. Oh, and then I can throw in there undefeated three division world champion, superstar boxer, Terrence Bud Crawford, because he's another one that gets a lot of knockouts you know, uh, knocked out or, or stopped the last five opponents he's uh, he's faced currently right now. He's on a five-fight uh, knockout, knockout streak. 
so you can add Terrence Crawford to the mix. Outside of that, you'll be hard-pressed to find a lot of guys that garner a lot of knockouts in their career. It just doesn't happen, okay? Uh, it's an anomaly. That's why when you do find guys that get a lot of knockouts, it's, it's super exciting. Anthony Joshua is 24, uh, he has 25 fights. He himself was knocked out, but he knocked out 22 of his opponents, so he's excited. Deontay Wilder has knocked down or knocked out every opponent he's ever faced. Uh, Javante Tank Davis uh, uh, knocked out uh, nearly every opponent, all but one, he's ever faced. And we know Terrence Crawford, like I stated, is on a five-fight knockout streak. But even Terrence Crawford has fights where he simply had to outbox guys. So he has 37 total fights and 28 knockouts. So nearly 10 of his fights went the distance, okay? Or should I say they didn't end result in knockouts. He's 37 wins, 28 knockouts, okay? Uh, so with that said, you know, uh, and this, and you got to tack on the fact that his last five fights have been knockouts, okay? So you remove that. And then they're not knockout. So uh, uh, when he's saying he don't like his style, he says Devin Haney has uh, um, a lot of fights and not a lot of knockouts. OK, um, but and then he goes on to say Devin Haney hasn't fought any guy, anybody you know of as if he did. Uh, he Devin Haney has 25 fights with 15 knockouts in his career. Uh, so. And he's a pure boxer. OK, but Devin Haney has fought Uriokis Gamboa. That's the name on his resume. Devin Haney has fought the same level of opposition that Ryan Garcia has faced. Ryan Garcia is portraying himself to have fought the upper echelon within the sport of boxing, and that's not true, okay? Uh, Ryan Garcia, his last fight against Luke Campbell, uh, Ryan Garcia, 21 wins, 18 wins by way of knockout. So he, but he's fighting lower level opposition. So three of his fights, he didn't get knockouts either, okay? Uh, outside of, uh, um, Luke Campbell, he fought from uh, Francisco Fonseca, right? Um, these and a bunch of guys that you never heard of. Okay, so with that said, uh, Ryan Garcia is not fighting the upper echelon in the sport of boxing. Okay, uh, so Ryan Garcia is portraying himself after this Luke Campbell fight. Now Ryan Garcia is feeling like he's on top of the world because he got floored, he got up. And he beat Luke Campbell. Well, Luke Campbell never fought for a world title, uh, never won a world title, never been a world champion. Okay? He's fought for world titles, but he's never been a world champion. He came up short. So, with that said, yeah, you beat an Olympic gold medalist. He fought for world titles, but he's never won one. Yuriokis Gamboa is a three division world champion and Olympic gold medalist, just like Luke Campbell. So, he's more accomplished than Luke Campbell is. He's a three-division world champion. He's fought for world titles and won world titles. Okay? He was considered in top 10 pound for pound at one point in time. Luke Campbell was never considered in the top 10 pound for pound. He's an Olympic gold medalist just like Luke Campbell. So he's fought, essentially, the better opposition in Yuriokis Gamboa. Yuriokis Gamboa trumps anybody on Ryan Garcia's resume. So for him to say Devin Haney hasn't fought anybody, that's cold word for I don't believe I could beat Devin Haney. And this is what's the what's wrong with the sport of boxing. We're pointing to all the wrong things as as for an example as to why you don't want to fight a guy. If he's boring, then go ahead, get the fight, win the fight, and move on. Okay? Why would you say, why would you put yourself in position to win the WBC mandatory position, knowing you have to fight Devin Haney, then say you'll never fight Devin Haney because his style is boring? Let's listen to what he had to say again, shall we? So he's saying that, you know, uh, 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 you, you aligned yourself, you put yourself in position to be the mandatory challenger for Devin Haney, right? Okay. And let's listen to what Ryan Garcia had to say, his response. Uh, Devin Haney, I'm not interested in it, I'm going to be honest, because he don't excite me. He don't have a... He Why does he have to excite you? The point is, you're the exciting fighter. You're the X Factor. Why does Devin Haney have to excite you? As long as he's winning and he's one of the best boxers in the world, his his style don't have to excite you as his opponent. You have to excite the fans as his opponent. But let's keep listening. Can't name one person he fought. That's he can, we can't name one person he's fought. Yeah, we can. Yuriokis Gamboa, who has a better resume and more accomplished than the top, the best fighter on your resume, and Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell, again, he's won the gold medalist. He's fought for a world title. 
he's not a world champion and never has been a world champion. And don't see, I don't see him becoming a world champion in the foreseeable future. Yuriokis Gamboa is a three division world champion and he's Olympic gold medal medalist as well. Exciting. Uh, and that, that raised the challenge. Uh, and he doesn't even do things exciting when he. He doesn't do things exciting, is what he said, right? That's what he stated. So let's just let's just look at this, right? And, and when they when they did have a session, look look at this. Look who's the aggressive. That's Devin Haney in the red. That's Devin Haney in the red. That's Ryan Garcia in the blue. Who's the aggressor? Who's utilizing the ring? Who's utilizing the ring? Devin Haney is coming forward. Ryan Garcia is trying to back some box on his back foot. So who's not excited? Look, who's who's running around the ring? Who's utilizing the ring? Devin Haney's in the red. Ryan Garcia's in the blue. Ryan Garcia is moving away from Devin Haney. Devin Haney is the aggressor. So what's boring about his style? Look at him. Look at him. So who's the aggressor? Devin Haney's the aggressor. And it seems as if, and that's just one of three footages that you can see online. And Devin Haney's always the aggressor in all of their fights. So why is Ryan Garcia saying that he don't like his style, his style is boring, when the, the one that's using the ring and moving away is Ryan Garcia? who has, You don't know anybody on his resume, but he's fought the better competition in Yoriokas Gamboa compared to Lou Campbell. So this lets us know everything we need to know. Ryan Garcia, he don't believe that he could beat Devin Haney. He's not confident in his skill set against Devin Haney. And we're understanding of that. You can see in three of the footages that's available that Devin Haney's always the aggressor when they fought in the amateurs. So why is he saying that Devin Haney's style is not exciting? When, when you're fighting him, you're moving away from him. He's always the aggressor in, every, in all three of the clips that I've seen. He's always the aggressor. You're the one that's trying to box and get away from him. Isn't that something? Isn't that ironic? But uh, let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue by Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue by Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.